thanks for having me. This is called TV. I'm stuck in a televisual trance, watching Antiques Roadshow and got to dance, flipping the channels for hours and hours, back to back Dibley and Faulty Towers. Shows about people with half-ton mums, shows about people with spots on their bums, shows about mansions in Beverly Hills, shows about junkies addicted to pills, shows about cooking, shows about bread, shows where magicians play tricks with my head, shows about husbands with multiple wives, shows about people with dodgy sex lives. Or people who do almost nothing at all, yet still let me in, I'm a fly on the wall. I'm buzzing around as you clear your clutter, I'm watching you diet, I'm watching you stutter, I'm hoping you'll triumph and win lots of money. I'm hoping you're clever, I'm praying you're funny. Fingers crossed that your date is a roaring success. I hope your fiancé approves of her dress. Breath baited, I followed the whole of the search for the murderous bastard on ITV's Broadchurch. I'm on my computer retweeting on Twitter, the thing getting fatter, the fat getting fitter. I'm totally fatally hooked on Sky Plus, which is intravenously fueling my lust by recording all episodes one, two, three, four, and it's not too late, so I'll watch one more. I'm watching you, watching you, turning to stone in my darkened flat where I'm all alone, where I sit like a gargoyle in my easy chair, and my skin grows pale and my eyes grow square, and the constant glare of the greenish screen bleaches my brain till it's good and clean. And there's room for a rerun of butterflies, or that heartbreaking Poirot, <coughs> where Poirot dies. Or a Danish serial, just like the killing, or not quite as good, but I'm still very willing to watch through the night, to watch all day, to catch up on New Girl and Home and Away. So the dust spills up in my living room, whilst all around me the gathering gloom stretches to shadow my fragile mind till I'm almost deaf. And I'm almost blind, and I can't recall all the dreams I dreamed when my life was real, or so it seemed, of the people I'd meet, and the places I'd go. How I'd probably end up on a TV show, discussing my novels, my inspiration, how I was the voice of a generation. Instead I don't talk, I don't think, I don't write, don't eat, don't drink, don't sleep at night, don't study, don't sing, won't read no book, don't ask, don't give, don't cry, don't cook, don't touch, don't hold, don't want, don't need, can't walk, can't crawl, can't breathe can't bleed. But it's not all bad, because I have just done a brand new programme for BBC One. It's a brilliant drama, it's all about me. The girl who got lost in her own TV. The girl whose heart breaks when the credits roll. Whose dearest loves the remote control. Who's stuck in a televisual trance, watching Antiques Roadshow and got to dance. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.